Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an AI art generator that can generate high quality images and videos for free without any watermark. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. Are you looking for a professional video and animation generator that delivers stunning results, is free to use, and can bring your ideas to life? One that can turn your text prompts into high-quality videos and animations, without even adding a watermark? Well, look no further, because I'm about to introduce you to the AI that does all of this and more. With this tool, you can create realistic videos with Hollywood-level visual effects, or produce 3D animations without needing expensive software like 3D Studio Max. Maya or Cinema 4D. No expensive hardware required this AI does all the heavy lifting. Simply describe your ideas and stories through text, and you can freely share the watermark-free output on social platforms like YouTube and Instagram. Whether making promotional teasers, music videos, or general content, this system empowers you to express your creativity. Post-production touch-ups and editing tools like Adobe Premiere Pro are also possible for crafting feature-length films. So stay tuned to the end of this tutorial as I reveal the astonishing powers of this AI and how you can turn your dreams into reality. No artistic skills or tech know-how needed just your imagination. I'm excited to introduce you to this incredibly useful tool. We visit the Leonardo AI website. Click on the Launch App button located in the top right corner of the site. We create a completely free user account and log in. Once inside the dashboard, we see the main features listed at the top of the website. Initially, we aim to convert our idea into an image using the Image Generation tool. From the left menu, click on Image Generation. On the Image Generation page, there is a prompt box at the top where I paste a pre-written prompt. Click on the preset drop-down list and select Portrait Perfect. In the preset style drop-down list, choose Portrait Bokeh. From the contrast drop-down list, select Medium from the options Low, Medium, and High. In the Generation Mode section, there are two options, Fast and Quality. You can toggle between fast generations and slower quality generations, with quality formerly known as Alchemy V2. The fast option is available for free accounts, while the quality option is accessible if you have a subscription from Leonardo. In the Image Dimensions section, you can select the aspect ratio for vertical, horizontal, square, and other formats. Additionally, below Image Dimensions, you can choose between small, medium, and large sizes, and for this case, I select medium. By toggling private mode on or off, you can choose to hide your generations in the community feed. Clicking on Advanced Settings reveals an important section. Here, you can change the model for generating images by clicking on the model drop-down list. In this particular case, I select Leonardo Kino XL because it has performed well for me. Enabling the Photo Real option makes the image more realistic. Activating the Negative Prompt option adds a new section to the text box where we can specify elements we do not want in the image. After setting everything up, I click on the Generate button. After a short while, the images are generated. Hovering over the image thumbnails provides access to the download option. Clicking on a thumbnail allows you to view the images in a larger size. Below each image, there is also a free download button for each file. If the images are not satisfactory, we can generate new images by modifying the text prompt or changing the settings. I slightly modify the prompt and click the Generate button again. After a short while, new images are generated and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on the thumbnails to view and browse them in a larger size. The images appear realistic, but I want to change their style. To do this, I select the concept art option from the preset drop-down list on the left. From the preset style drop-down list, I choose Game Concept 3D. I leave the other settings unchanged and click the Generate button again. After a short while, new images are generated and their thumbnails are displayed. The new images are in a 3D animation style. I click on the thumbnails to view and browse them in a larger size. Each image has a download link below it. I choose this image to proceed to the next stage, where I will animate it and convert it into a video.
At the top of the Leonardo site, there is a motion option that allows us to enter the animation section by clicking on it. We can also access the motion option from the left-hand menu. I click on motion. The image to motion window opens. I click on the select an image option. Then I click on the Your Generations tab. The images generated by Leonardo's AI in the previous stage are listed here, and I select one of them. I click the Confirm button. In the Motion Strength section, we can determine the amount of movement added. I set it to 8. In the Visibility section, by toggling the Private and Public options, we can determine whether the generated video can be seen by other users on the platform. I click the Generate button. A new window opens. If we click on the View Generation option, we are redirected to a page where images and videos are created. I choose the Close option. We can repeat this image to video conversion process multiple times. To do this, I click on Motion from the left-hand menu again. The Image to Motion window opens. I click on the Select an Image option. I click on the Your Generations tab. I select another image generated in the previous stage. I click the Confirm button. This time, I set the motion strength to 10. For the third time, I repeat all the previous steps. To track the video creation process by Leonardo, I click on image generation from the left-hand menu. As you can see, the thumbnails indicate that one video has been created and two videos are in the process of being created. When we hover the mouse over one of the video thumbnails, the MP4 download icon appears. There is also a trash icon to delete the video. I click on the video thumbnail to view it in a larger size and browse through it. Below the video frame, the MP4 download icon is visible, and the trash icon to delete the video is also present here. I close this window. And as you can see, the other videos have also been generated. I click on the thumbnails of the next videos to view and browse through them in a larger size. I have shown you a method in this tutorial that allows us to transform our ideas into images. We can then use the motion feature in Leonardo AI to convert these images into videos. The motion feature makes it easy to animate still images in creative ways. Remember that these generated images and videos are watermark free. You are free to use them for commercial purposes without restrictions. They can be added to your YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok videos without any issues. If you're also interested in learning how to edit AI-generated videos and add voiceovers, please type edit and voiceover in the comments section below. If there are enough requests, I'll be sure to create a tutorial on that topic as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you learned something new from this tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you have any questions about AI, please feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help in any way that I can. There are many more AI tutorials on the way, so please subscribe and enable notifications so that you don't miss anything and stay up to date. Remember, AI is the future, so embrace AI. See you in the next tutorial.